Good evening, teacher, again. Good evening, again. I have to apologize because this is Zoom. So I think I okay. have to share the screen. And we have to go back to our text. Um, I want to ask Hiba if she can heal me about her favorite sandwich. Yes. Uh, please, um, Hiba. My and Philadelphia. Again, again, Ahiba. My favorite sandwich, mm. Kado and mm. Philadelphia. Okay, what are the ingredients that we have in these two sandwiches? Two. What are the ingredients that we have in these two sandwiches? Philadelphia. Mm. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Mushroom, corn, oh my god, uh, pepper, pepper, okay, mm -hmm. color pepper, no, ah, the green, people. Yeah. Uh, my favorite, red pepper and the green pepper, amazing, I loved it, okay. it's yellow, mm. it's delicious. Mm. Uh, Raid, what is your favorite sandwich? I'm Raid. Uh, I prefer uh, a sandwich uh, uh, with beef, uh, caramelized onion, and mushroom, and uh, cheese. Holy God, that's amazing. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Nahil, uh, what about your sandwich, uh, Nahil? I don't know if Nahil is with us. Let me check her presence. Ah, she's here. Nahid, can you hear me? Maybe she cannot. Tagreed. Yes, I'm here. Oh, please. What about your favorite sandwich? Uh, I prefer the roast sandwich, maybe, with the lettuce and corn. And I love zinger. And I also prefer the hamburger. Yani, I love everything. Yeah. Oh, okay, by the way. Yeah, food. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Um, um, Tagreed. Someone is trying to join us. Ah, Nahid. Okay, so this is it, guys. This is about the history of sandwich and uh, uh, the ingredients that we have in most of sandwiches. Now we have to add, uh, to discuss something different. Now, guys, the vocabulary that we have. To be honest, we need them every day. So vocabulary and things we need in our daily life. Here, guys, we have some pictures, and we have the names of these pictures in this list. Maybe you want to shop, so this is the shopping list, and after that, we have to know the places that we can buy uh, these things. First of all, the end is salt. It is aspirin. This is the aspirin. So it Medication. Is I exactly, but wait, let's just know the names of the things. And after that, we have to uh, know uh, and learn the places that we can buy. Chocolate. What is the number of a chocolate? B. Uh, it is B. Thank you. So please write B here. Now, notebook. C. 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 Amazing. Scissors. Uh, K. It K. is K. So, K is scissors. Adapter. Uh, L. L. Is L. 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 Thank you. So, L is the adapter. Okay, I cannot write because maybe I want to go up and down. And after that, we have envelopes. F. 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 Is F. F. So, this is it. Exactly. Envelopes. After that, we have plasters. E. G. Plasters is G. Where is G? Are you sure? X to C. J. 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 Uh -huh. It is J, not G. Guys, this is okay. Mm. okay. Okay. After that, we have silo tape. E. It is e. e. This is it. This is called silo tape. To absolutely uh, uh, just to catch some peppers and uh, uh, tiny things. Tooth. Paste. M. M. It is M. M. Thank you. So this is M. a toothpaste. Okay. 
After that, we have shampoo. I. I. Is I. 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 Thank you. Batteries. D. 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 It D. is D. D. Thank you. Screwdriver. Uh, A. It is A. A. Thank you. Magazine. Uh, G. Uh, G. G. Thank you. Final newspaper. H. It is H. a show exactly. So these are the things that approximately we need every day, especially the chocolate. Okay. Now, guys, we have to know the places that we can buy. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe you want to buy these things. We have news agents, guys. News agent means ba'a asahf. Hardware shop is. ما بعرف إذا بتزبط نقول خردوات أو أو equipments معدات it is called hardware shop chemists chemists نحنا بمجتمعنا منقول صيدلية and station is what stationers do you know the meaning of a stationer محل الكرتاسية آه برافو طبعا جايز نحنا بنسميها مكتبة وأكيد بالمجتمع الغربي المكتبة هي library والمكتبة هو المكان لقراءة واستعارة الكتب بينما stationer is a place where we can buy some papers, some pens or something like that okay? Mm -hmm. okay so if you want to take a look at this picture here we have bakery do you know the meaning of bakery? المخبز yes المخبز. exactly this is stationers أكيد stationers هي محل لبيع القرطاسية News agent, exactly. So we notice that news agent, we can see the magazines and newspapers outside. So this is news agents. Here we have Bell's hardware. And the hardware place is to buy some tools and equipments. Finally, this is the chemist. Okay, so this is it. If you notice, guys, that most of the places, we notice the apostrophe S. This apostrophe is to show the place that you want to go. Ahyana, guys, you can miss al Talab, where are you going? Fabijabun al Talab, I'm going to the doctor's. Fabiktubu doctor, like this. Apostrophe S. This is to mention the place. La meulu doctors, bianu doctors clinic. Yani ayad al Tabib. So sometimes some places, if you want to add the apostrophe S, it means a place you can go. Okay, now let's go back to the things that we need every day. And you have to tell me the place that we can buy from. Chocolate. Uh, I think... Bakery. Bakery, exactly. Bakery. What, yes. What about screwdriver? Hardware shop. Ah, yes, amazing. What about notebook? Uh, Stationers. Stationers, yes. Batteries. Hardware. Hardware, Hardware shop, thank you. Cello tape. Hardware shop. Stationers. What? what? Stationers. Stationers. Please, this is not electronic. Fiat number two. Huh? Fiat number two. على كل حال جايز نحنا بنسمي ما بعرف شو بنسمي بس جايز ال 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 التيب اللي بخص الكهرباء this is electronic tape أكيد from hardware shop but this for papers and things so I can buy it from stationers exactly envelopes stationers stationers magazine news agents news agents newspaper News agents. News agents. agents, amazing. Now, what about uh, uh, pasters, plaster Chem stone? Plasters, chemist. Uh, ch chemist. Chemist. Chemist, exactly. Chemist. So the plasters, I can buy them from the chemist. What about yes. the shampoo? And also Ah, uh, yeah, for exactly, chemist. What about scissors? <laughs> Uh, or chemist. Yes. Or what? Or chemist. Chemist? Are you sure? Yes. No. Ah, okay. Yeah. I think uh, in, some, in some places it is different, but it is okay. 
What about adapters? Hardware. 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 As aspirin. Chemist. 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 Toothpaste. Chemist. 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 Again. Thank you. So these are the places that I can go to buy these things. Okay. So we're still talking about everyday English and it is about shopping in the high street. So we have an exercise. Here, guys, we have to listen to this recording and we have to fill the words in the blanks. So the recording is 8.11. So let me play the recording. Let's listen. Because, guys, here we have too many sort of, sort of, nafs ma'ana, kind of, nawamin, all, enough. Okay. So let's listen 8.11 and let's fill the blanks. So I think this is 11. Tape script 8.11. Amazing. Okay. So let's listen carefully. Shopping in the high street. One. I'd like some batteries, please. What sort do you want? Double A, please. Would you like a packet of four or six? Six is too many. Four is enough. Anything else? That's all, thanks. So? Too so many. Too so many. Exactly. Enough. Enough. Uh, enough. Six is too many. Four is enough. Four is enough. enough. Uh -huh. That's all. That all is enough. all. So, guys, let me remind you, because six is countable, I have to say too many. If the noun is uncountable, I have to use what? Too much. Too much. much. Thank you, too much. So please don't forget that. Okay. Now let's it's complete. Uh, huh? Enough? Enough. Yes. Enough. Enough. Yes. Enough. Yes. Enough. Yes. 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 Okay. That's enough. Oh, that's enough. Okay. It is enough for me. Now to you. Did you enough or enough? Enough. We have F at the end. Enough. Okay. Let me wait. If you have a problem in pronouncing this word, I think I have to write it for you. And you have to listen to the pronunciation of this word because absolutely this word is extremely important. Maybe you were to use in your everyday English. So, please, guys, listen. Enough. Again. Enough. Okay. Okay. Oh, so, that's enough. Now, two. Two. Can I have some toothpaste, please? Small or large? Oh, the large is too big. The small is fine. Anything else? No, thanks. How much is that? So? Large. Large. large too big. big. Too big. Exactly. exactly. So too big. Too small. Too big. Too much. Too many. Anything else? No, thank you. So this is... Can Elsie? Else. Anything else? Anything yes. else? يعني أي شيء آخر؟ يا ترى بدك شيء بعد؟ Okay. Something else, شيء ما آخر. Anything else, أي شيء آخر. Someone else, okay. شخص ما آخر. مثلاً يمكن أنا بحاجة مساعدة وفي عندي شخصين. يمكن أول حدا يخبرني إنه قادر أنا ساعدك. Uh, maybe I want to say I don't need you to help me. Is there something else to help me? هل يوجد هناك أي شخص آخر لمساعدتي? So this is a meaning okay. of this. Okay, thank you. Now conversation three. Three. I'm looking for a nice pen. What about this one? It's 25 pounds. No, that's too much. I don't want to spend that much. Well, this one is twelve pounds. Well, that's better. And I need some pencils as well. 
There are ten pencils in this packet. But I only want two. I'm afraid I only have packets of ten. Sorry. So that's better. But I only want two. Exactly. Okay. Guys, the question is where is this place? Uh-huh. Station. Conversation two. Where is this place? Amazing. It is chemist. Exactly. It is chemist. Toothpaste. Now, conversation number one. Where is this place? Hardware shop. Hardware shop. Exactly. So, these are the things that I may need in my daily life. Okay. So, let's now discuss the next exercise. Uh, similar conversations. Okay. Now, guys, exercise number four. And again, if you want to buy things from any place, you have to ask for that thing in a polite way. Now, let's listen to this conversation or these sentences, and we have to check which one is more polite than the other one. So, it is 8.12. Let me play this recording. And let's listen. Tape script 8.12. Amazing. Okay, so let's listen carefully. I'd like a coffee, please. I'd like, I would like a coffee, please. Is that polite? Yes, it's polite. Oh, polite. Amazing. Okay, let's polite. listen to the second one. I want a latte. Finally. Give me some cake with that. So, impolite. And the final one is... Give me some cake with that. Ampolite. Ampolite. Right, exactly. So, the first one is polite. The second and the third one are impolite. Now, the next one. Can I have polite. a sandwich? This is one. Impolite. A cup of tea. Uh-huh. Finally. Impolite. You bring Impolite. me a soup. Impolite. Exactly. So the first one is polite. The second one is M. Polite. The final one is polite. Yes. So guys, you notice that if you want to ask about things, you can use can and could. Or maybe you can use I would like. So using would like, can I have something? Could you please bring me something? These things, if you want to use, you will be polite person. So try to use them if you want to buy things from the uh, chemist, stationers, hardware tools or shop or something like that. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, guys, I think we have to stop here because I have a second class at 8. So if you have any questions... You can ask me. Thank you. So, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. And I have to wish a good night for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.